ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਸਾਥ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀਓ ਆਈ ਵਾ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਵਾਰਮ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਐਂਟਾਇਰ ਸੰਗਤ ਔਨ ਟੂਡੇਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਟੂਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਡਿਸਕਸਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਇਟਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥਿਸ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਹਾਊਸ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਫਰੈਂਡਸ ਗਰੁੱਪ we always wants to know about what is simran and who simran should we do because we all are doing simran automatically we just don't know who simran we should do so that is why there are different types of simran as well because we are we all are doing simran but what kind of simran we are doing and what kind of simran we are supposed to do so that we will learn today itself then the next question comes to our mind why should we do it and if we have to do if we need to do if we should do then what is the procedure how should we do it and while doing any work there are some good things some bad things there are some precautions so there are few things in simran as well about we have to be be fair about so firstly we will discuss what is simran according to pai kan singh naba in mahan kosh he said cheta chintan sochna and yaddasht and in guru granth kosh pai veer singh ji also says yaad karna so yaad means simran yaad means remembering recalling and thinking about him meditation chete karna yaad karna simran karna the meaning is same the meaning of simran is remembering someone recalling someone thinking about someone or doing meditation repeating one name again and again that is also simran so everything is included in simran so we all are doing simran every time how when we are close to our beloved we can feel his presence and actually we can visualize him as well if we are with our loved one we can look at him we can look at her but if we are away from him then we remember him agar assi pyare de naal ha assi pyare da didar karde ha pyare to dur ho jaiye fir us pyare nu assi yaad karde ha if we are close to our beloved then we love to see him we love his presence then we like to see him watch him we can look at him or her for long time but if our loved one is not with us so in that case we miss him all the time so then we are just thinking about him so thinking is the procedure to whom we say remembering so we are always doing simran but about what guru arjun sahib ji teaches us guru arjun sahib ji tells us teaches us jahu kahu apno hi chit aave we are doing simran we are missing someone we are remembering someone but to whom to whom we feel he is my own a mother miss her own daughter not someone else daughter a father miss his own son not someone else son so in the meditation in the procedure of remembering one rule works and that rule is we can remember the one to whom we feel he is mine consciousness jahu kahu 
wherever we go apno apno means my on he chit ave chit means remember simran so we always do simran to whom we feel he is my then guru nanak sahib also says about this to whom we miss guru arjan sahib ji told us we miss who is our own and what is that we are believing that sir my things then guru nanak sahib ji tells us what maya moh sagal jag chhaya kaman dekh kam lo paya sut kanchan syo het vadhaya maya moh sagal jag chhaya we are missing about money we are missing luxury we are missing some family members maybe wife husband common common means for wife a husband common dekh kaam lo bhaya we have other desires so we miss them we miss our husband wife children सुत कंचन सो हेत वधाया सुत मींस चाइल्ड सन कंचन मींस गोल्ड सो वी थिंक अबाउट वी हैव थॉट्स ऑफ गोल्ड चिल्ड्रन सो एवरीथिंग वी मिस बट गुरु नानक साहिब जी टेल्स अस देयर इज वन थिंग दैट इज नेवर इनटू आवर माइंड एज वन टीचर आस्क्ड टू अ स्टूडेंट गॉड इज ओमनी प्रेजेंट is there any place where god is not there when one child raised his hand and said yes there is a place we cannot find god teacher laughed he said my question was wrong given how can you answer god is omnipresent there is no place where god is not there if you raised your hand we all would like to know tell us about that place then that student replied although god is everywhere but god is not there in our memory we never miss god we never remember god in our mind there is a place where god is not there although he is omnipresent so guru nanak sahib ji also says माया मो सगल जग छाया कामन देख काम लो पाया सुत कंचन सो हेत वधाया सब किच अपना एक राम पर आया एवरीथिंग एज हिज ऑन बट एक्सेप्ट गॉड सब किच अपना सो ही हैव लॉट ऑफ टाइम फॉर वर्क ही मे हैव टेन आवर्स to earn money may he may have 20 hours 10 hours 15 hours 8 hours for his family members as well but we are always much occupied when it comes to meditation when it comes to simran when when it comes to remembering chanting the name of the lord because he doesn't seems on sab kiche apna ik ram par aaya but we are into a trap kabir ji gives an example a very good example markat musti anaj ki man baura re lini hath pasar chutan ko sahsa parya man baura re nachyo kar kar bahar markat musti anaj ki man baura re lini hath pasar now it's a story of monkey a real story hunters how they hunt monkeys how they trap what they do they put some grain into a pot whose face is very small like you can just put your hand inside very little space is there so what this monkey do does monkey put his hand in that pot 
and then he tried to take all those cones out of that pot but with that position he is not able to take his hand out so the immediately hunter started coming to him but he don't open his fist he feels if i open my fist i lose this grain that i am holding in my hand i should not leave it monkey don't open his fist finally hunter catches him so then chutan ko sahasa parya man baurare nachyo kar kar bar then he have to dance door to door madari catches him so he play games with that monkey this is how he spend his entire life just because he is not ready to leave that cone from his hand it's very easy if he could leave that part he could put his hand out and ran but he did not so this is a story of our life as well we are not ready to leave our desires to our attachments to other things we are not against other things but we are too much attached there is a time that we should give to god as well farida jinni kami nahe gun te kamde ve sar now farid ji also telling us first message was from guru arjan sahib ji then guru nanak sahib then kabir ji now we will try to understand what farid ji is telling us farida jini kamme nahe ko te kamde vesar the works that doesn't bring merit that are not much fruitful so you should not think about those things vesar means forgot now we are doing opposed to that we are meditating we are doing simran we are remembering but what we are remembering jini kami nahi gun those do deeds which do not bring any fruit we are just spending our a lot of time in remembering that so simran means remembering remembering in our mind again and again गुप्त प्रगट सिमर है प्रभ मेरे सकल पवन का प्रभ तना गुप्त प्रगट सिमर है प्रभ मेरे ना गुरबानी टीचर्स अस गुप्त और प्रगट गुप्त मींस इनविजिबल प्रगट मींस विजिबल थिंग्स एवरी वन इज रिमेंबरिंग लॉर्ड सकल पवन का प्रभ तना ही इज मास्टर ऑफ ऑल वर्ल्ड सो वी शुड फोकस ऑन दैट सिमरन एज वेल so we discussed simran there are two types of simran one simran is trishna fire of desires trishna virle hi ki bhuji hai so we are thinking about money all the time maybe desires of lust desires of money different kind of desires are there that is also simran because we are thinking about it so trishna fire of desires this is one kind of simran that we are already doing but what we need to do is live devotion live chudki lagi trishna maya amar vartaya live chudki lagi trishna the moment we born live chudki live has broken lagi trishna and simran of trishna has started from our the moment we born so live sachi live bin deh nimani deh nimani live bajo kya kare vecharya sachi live if live of the true lord is not there memory simran of that lord is not there साची लिवे बिन दे निमानी निमानी पुअर बॉडी क्या करे विचारिया व्हाट कैन वी डू सो फ्रॉम द त्रिष्णा वी नीड टू चेंज आवर टाइप ऑफ सिमरन इज टू लिव नाउ द क्वेश्चन कम्स व्हाई शुड वी रिमेंबर गॉड वी आर डिस्कसिंग बट व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ इट सो देर आर टू रीजन्स 
why should we remember lot first so kyo bisra jin sab kich diya so kyo bisra je jeevan jiya god has gave us everything then we must remember if a doctor can help us some day to save our life we may remember him at our entire life we may praise him always although he will charge us still we will be very thankful to that person to the doctor so so kyo bisra jin sab kich diya sab kich everything is given by god everything not one or two or three countless things if we if we will start counting then we cannot count our blessings actually if we are able to eat well that is also blessing if we are able to see it's a blessing there are a lot of people who cannot see who cannot speak cannot eat well cannot sleep well so so kyo bisra jin sab kich diya so kyo bisra je jeevan diya jiya the most important is our life if doctor could save our life still we will be very thankful but what's about that power who gave us this life so we should not forget he gave us a lot of things so we should remember him we should spend some time in his while chanting his name as well so another tud chete aaye maha ananda jis visrah so mar jaye chiyo one is he has done a lot of things and he is doing so many things for us another is tud chete aaye maha ananda jis visrah so mar jaye chiyo until unless we will not start remembering him his name is happiness remembering lord is happiness remembering lord is blissfulness and if we forget god then we are in pain tud chit aaye maha ananda if we can remember you that is bliss jis visrah so mar jaye jiyo parmeshwar te bhulya vyapan sabhe rog as soon we forget lord we fall into an illness so this is also a problem if we want some happiness in our life that can bring by remembering his name by chanting his name this is most 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 needed and very important part of our life now the next question is of those people who have already started doing simran first part was for the initial ones we should start meditating we should start doing vahe guru vahe guru or jap ji sahib or bani whatever part we are able to recite that is a simran simran means remembering now the question comes how to do simran how should we do it what is the way the one who started meditating they this kind of question comes to their mind so guru nanak sahib ji teaches us about that part as well gaviye suniye man rakhiye paav two ways guru ji is telling us gaviye suniye gaviye means sing if we are saying wahe guru which means we are singing gaviye suniye we must listen as well what we just said man rakhiye paav and there should be love within our heart as well that is very much important so gaviye suniye man rakhiye paav so what happens we are just gaviye we are just singing and we are thinking about something else we don't listen what we are saying so that is very much important guru nanak sahib ji teaches us 
ਧੁਨ ਮਹ ਧਿਆਨ ਧਿਆਨ ਮਹ ਜਾਨਿਆ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਅਕਤ ਕਹਾਣੀ ਧੁਨ ਮਹ ਧਿਆਨ ਧੁਨ whenever we are saying as an example ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਗੁਰਮੰਤਰ ਹੈ ਜਪ ਹਉਮੈ ਕੋਈ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਇਸ ਗੁਰਮੰਤਰ then whatever or whenever we are reciting any bani everything is part of naam and simran waheguru is the basic or we can say starting point if we are not able to memorize or if we did not have anything that we have remembered any shabads or gurbani then we can start practicing with waheguru at least we should do something so how should we say waheguru tun meh tyan tyan meh janya gurmukh akat kahani tun meh tyan whatever we are saying concentrate and try to listen that thing as well it's not as easy as we are just discussing the one those who are doing it they would have feel difficulty about it very difficult because mind is always ready to run you don't want to stop anywhere but here we need to listen whatever we are saying that is why what happens the one who just we can say by hearted any gurbani or maybe japji sahib if they have memorized japji sahib so they are doing their household things and meditating and just reciting the name so if someone just interrupts they just forgot where were they why because tyan concentration was not there if someone interrupts we just forgot what we were reading or on which body were we so that is why in the simra if we actually want to walk on that path tun meh tyan tyan meh janya gurmukh akath kahani that we cannot describe cannot write we can reach to that position it's possible jap tap kot lakh puja har simran tul na lae now this gurbani line is very important jap tap kot lakh puja now we may find the meaning is same jap means meditation tap tapasya jap tap kot lakh puja millions of times kot is like 10 million is equal to 1 kot so kot lakh puja millions and million times if we are you are doing jap tap or puja but still it's not as equal to har simran tulna lae it's not equal to the simran now question comes jap tap and simran is there any difference or is it same i'll share a small story of shri guru nanak sahib ji from the book of pai sahib pai veer singh ji guru nanak chamatkar a story when guru nanak sahib ji was on udasis and he reached to jagannath puri there also a pandit asked the same question he said i am doing puja i am doing jap and tap means remembering name and reciting a lot of things religious scriptures holy book i'm reading again and again but still i'm not able to feel something still i'm not able to enjoy because one we can just read it one we can have taste of it we can enjoy reading reciting we can filled with joy and happiness it's also possible but they so guru nanak sahib is filled with happiness but they were empty so they asked this question exactly the same question they said we are doing a lot of religious activities but still 
nothing is happening. What is the reason? Then Guruji gave another thing. So first, how should we do Simran? We should concentrate whatever we are saying. That was the first point. Second, how should we do the Simran? Answer is in this line. Then he asked, then Guruji replied. Guruji said, you say Na, do you remember Nami as well? Whose name is this? As an example, if we say anyone's name, we'll be able to visualize him, his qualities. Or even if we say any of the richest person that we all are aware about, like Elon Musk or someone, or Bill Gates, we'll be able to visualize, we'll be able to see what kind of power they have. So the moment you are saying Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, do you also feel he is the creator? Do you ever think in that way as well? I'm saying Vahe Guru. Va means amazing. You are doing a lot of things, my Lord. You are the power. Are you able to feel his power? Or are you able to put that power in your mind as well? Or you are just reading it? One, if we'll say the name of our prime minister, we'll be able to visualize his power as well immediately. Yes, he's a powerful person, that kind of power he has. But the moment you are meditating on his name, for example, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru. So, are you thinking about this as well? Vahe Guru is so powerful. He is the creator of everything. He is omnipresent. So those things should come in our mind. That is called Simran. So Jap is also Simran. Simran is also Jap. But if we are just reciting, just Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, or Ikko Ankar, Sat Naam, Karta Purk, Nirpao, Jap. But whenever we are feeling it, trying to understand the meaning of it, then it becomes Simran. So two points about this, how to do the Simran. Now, if someone has started, this is a biggest problem. The one who have started doing Simran. So first part was for them who did not start even. Then if we start, then how should we do it? Then the precaution is also there. Be aware of few things. What happens? According to researchers, according to the one who meditates, sages, saints, they share their experience in their writings. As even Professor Sahib Singh wrote in Simran Diyam Barkata, and even Gyani San Singh Maskin in Prabhu Simran, Pairandir Singh in Vahiguru Simran, there are many books about it. So one thing they said we should take care about, especially Professor Sahib Singh as well, the moment when we start meditating, a day may come sooner, very soon. It's just personal experience, the one who have tried it, done it, like Jani Sun Singh Maski, he wrote in Prabhu Simran as well. Then what happens? By his grace, by the grace of Lord, we feel the taste of it. We enjoy, we loved it. Once we do part, we filled with joy and happiness. Then this is just a grace of God. We don't know about it, but still we are able to feel that taste because he just give his glimpse, we can say. Yes, God is there, but later we have to practice to reach to that position. So he just give a hint, we can say. So you just give a taste. Yeah, this kind of things you will get it. The problem, once we get it, the taste, then people start telling to everyone. This is a problem. They say, I did part and wow, I enjoyed. I could able to feel the taste of Gurbani. Wow. Then suddenly ego arrives within us then problem begins. This is what happened in Professor Sahib Singh's life. One person read book for Simran Diyam Barkata 
He started meditating, Vahe Guru, Vahe Guru, and Gurbani Nitinem, and he started enjoying. Then he went to Professor Sahib Singh and said, I am able to enjoy. I am able to taste Gurbani. After reading your book, I have tried it. I loved it. Then, that, according to that person, then Professor Sabji put his hand on his head and said, You should not tell me. You should not tell to anyone even. But you just came to me to tell this. This is about Je ko khave, je ko punche, tiska hoe udharo. Means if we are able to eat, we have to digest as well. If we are able to enjoy, taste it, then digest it, then we will be able to reach to the next level. Although harka pagat pragat nahi chape, the one who will start enjoying will not hide at all. But he should not start publicizing himself, I'm able to enjoy, then it becomes very difficult to enjoy again. Once we start, it's part of our life. God will give us some hints and enjoy, but take care. Don't start telling to each and everyone. And then what will happen? Prabh ke simran hoi supala. Prabh ke simran safal fala. Prabh ke simran hoi supala. Pala means good. There are two meanings of this line. Earlier, researchers wrote the meaning of this line as Frid Kotiya, the Tika, and all before them. Prabhke Simran Hoi Sopala, whatever they say, so they always say, whatever happened is good. Prabhke Simran Hoi Sopala, whatever happened is Pala, whatever happened is good, whatever happened, no question, no complaint about it. Whatever happened, they are ready to accept the will of God. Jo tudpa vaisai palikar tu sada salamat nankar. Prabh ke simran hoi so pala. Whatever happened, good. But another point of view is, Prabh ke simran hoi so pala. The one who is doing Prabh ka simran, the one who is remembering Lord, whatever he do, he always do good. Hoi supala. With his hands, nothing bad can happen. Everything is going to be fruitful. Prabhka Simran Sufal Fala. Sufal Fala means fruits will come. He will fill with blossom of joy. There are two kinds of fruit. One is about physical. Physical fruit is having good children. If children is also remembering Lord, taking care of yourself, and they are an obedient child, sufal fala on the physical level. But individual level or spiritual level is sufal fala is as we were also discussing about Simran, that was just part of knowledge. Whatever we read or understood, we tried to share. Read few books, read few things, articles. We tried to implement or we tried to understand the concept of Simran. This is one kind of knowledge that we get from books. Sufal Fala, then they became so intelligent, they don't read books. Books comes from them. Whatever they say, that becomes book. Whatever Guru Nanak Sahib Ji said, that was written. Whatever Guru Gobind Singh Ji said, that is written. Whatever Guru Arjan Sahib Ji said, that is written, that is unique, that is new. But normally we are reading old books and repeating that part. But the grace of Lord, the real benefit of that fruit of Simran is, then he will not read books only, books will come from him. Why? Because he will be one with the Lord. Simar Simar Swami Prabhyapana Kahunanak Anadpayo Anadpaya Meri Mai Sakta Guru Mai Paya. So if we can take care about this, then definitely we can reach to that position. So I would just wish and pray for all of us so that we can reach to that level. Prabhya Simran Hoi Sopala.
प्रभु के सिमरन सफल फला सो वट वी डिस्कस टूडे फर्स्ट सिमरन इज मेडिटेशन सिमरन इज रिमेम्बरिंग self to vahiguru now we are doing simran for self taking care thinking about our family friends and financial things we must think about vahiguru be aware of pitfalls what happens we just once we get taste of it we just start sharing start telling to everyone this is a problem then sing listen and feel the nami sing say listen vahe guru feel that vahe guru is actually vahe guru wow he is amazing god is doing a lot of things he is taking care of each and everything single handed he don't have any support he don't have any colleagues he don't have any workers he is the power god is the power so we should feel that as well while doing simran then a sense of profound wisdom and true knowledge will arise so these are were the few points that we discussed today so i would just say i would just wish we all could able to reach to that position that we just discussed we all could able to reach to that position where we all can say prab ka simran hoye so pala prab ka simran Sufal fala. Thank you very much, everyone, for your precious time. Now I am giving you the option. You can unmute yourself. Don't be shy. Don't hesitate. Feel free to share your point of view, your suggestions, or whatever God gave you. Any kind of any thought must share with all of us so that we all can get some more benefit from your experience, from your point of view. So now I turn over the floor to entire Sangat. you can unmute yourself one by one and you can share your details or your point of view thank you very much once again wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fatech haan ji yes you can unmute yourself now anyone who wants to share something haan ji hardeep ji had it is difficult to do because as you said our mind is always running about and to focus on simran and focus on the values of wahi guru and what he has given us is not easy as you said we get a lot of distractions but we have to try and remembering wahi guru remembering all the things we have had we tend to take for granted but we don't remember that way that why guru gave us all this so your lecture is very good you have told us even of some precautions that we need to know then it doesn't mean you know how to do simran and you go around telling everyone that is a good point and to on the whole is a very good lecture thank you very much mr tvinder ji bye guru ji ka khalsa bye guru ji ki fate thank you very much for complimenting and contributing in today's lecture thank you very much hardeep ji haan ji any other sangat member who wants to share something don't be shy you can share whatever is coming to your mind it's just a thought given by god haan ji any other sangat member हां जी कुलदीप जी हां जी वाई गुरु जी का खालसा वाई गुरु जी की फतेह थैंक यू जी थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग दिस इलास्ट्रेटिव लेक्चर ऑन सिमरन इट्स नॉट एन इजी लेक्चर टू गिव आई थिंक सिमरन कैन टेक 
doing Simran, learning about Simran, what is Simran, how, what, when, why. There are a lot of questions and a lot of answers we get. But uh, I found your first sentence very, very profound. Jado pyara sade naal hai, ta asi oh sade dar kar de han. Jado pyara sade to dur hai, ta asi oh sade yaad kar de han. I think this is the whole essence of Simran. Why we are doing Simran, how we will do it, kimi asi karna, kithe karna, when, where, what and how. But our ultimate Target our ultimate goal is through this is a spiritual journey actually. Our ultimate goal is to connect with that one creator until he is just part and parcel of us. We just live, eat, breathe, sleep while he grew. So I think that is a whole spiritual journey which leads to this ultimate supreme level but of course we as normal human beings this is i don't know i think it's almost unattainable and uh, our saints our pagats our gurus well they are the living examples and through their bani and through their messages we are getting some kind of tips and some kind of direction and some kind of help to go along this spiritual path to follow this spiritual journey towards that supreme topmost ultimate level where you are just one with God you know, and, and then you you are just living and like I said living eating breathing sleeping you know live and uh, that is the ultimate thing of Simran of course it's a lifetime journey. It's a slow journey. It is a difficult journey. It involves concentration, focus, learning, exchanging. So it is a lifelong journey and it is not easy as we, uh, we all have all learned. Yes, and some tips that you gave Yes, we concentrate on the one when we are doing Simran. It's very easy to do, to do Simran. Simran is just, it's not just chanting. It's just not meditating. It's just not remembering. You know, it is a very deep-seated intention and a very deep-seated connection that we are trying to achieve with that one creator. And I think we have to first of all realize it. We must have that full faith. We must take him as our creator, our giver, our protector, our Rakhi uh, Karnawali. And uh, only then we can begin to love him. So ultimately, it's this power, it's this love for this supreme uh, being, supreme God. And once we have this kind of love, then I think we can achieve this uh, connection. So Simran is just a starting point. Remembering is just a starting point. We, we have to reach that stage where then we can just visualize him and we know that he's, we are one with him as well. So interesting lecture, very nice pointers. I enjoyed it. And of course, it's very thought provoking. It doesn't end here. Thank you very, very much. Why good jika khalsa? Why good jika Thank you very much, Dr. Kuldeepji. You shared your point of view, summarized the lecture, complimented and contributed as well. So thank you very much for your contribution. Hanji, anyone else who wants to share something, uh, any thoughts? Hanji, Ranjit ji, Hardeal ji. Hanji, Amarjit ji, you are unmuted. Uh, there were a couple of things in my mind. I was like, just now you mentioned that uh, Paramatma single-handedly hand handles everything. 
right? So there was a panti that came to my mind that we normally read that says uh, that says that says paf nen na nen he tuhi ko says murat na na ek tuhi. I mean everything is is his na akhata sa ekabat sari ori ya. Right. All 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 of us. I mean read, read the equipment so normally. So I mean like. Everything belongs to him, so he's not doing anything. And really, he's help, we are helping him to, to to go along with it. Yeah. So then another thing that came to my mind was uh, you you mentioned about daily money, Vive Bajo, Jakari Bichari. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a haunted house. The only reason is that no one is there for a long time, a long time, a long time. Oh, many people say that's a haunted house. ਇਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਸਰੀਰ ਵੀ ਇਹਦਾ ਸੀ ਪ੍ਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਦਾ ਨਾਂ ਨਾ ਲਈਏ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਹੌਂਟਰ ਹਾਊਸ ਹੀ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਫਿਰ ਆਈ ਗਰੋ ਆ ਮੀਨ ਜਸਟ 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 ਅ ਥੌਟ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਆਈ ਮਿਸ ਯੋਰ ਪਰਸ ਯੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਸਟਾਰਟਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਓਕਿਪਾਈਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਐਂਡ ਵੁਡ ਵੁਡ ਇਟ ਬੀ ਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਟੂ ਗੇਟ ਯੋਰ ਅ ਕਾਪੀ ਆਫ ਯੋਰ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਇਟਸ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਨੋ ਵਰੀਸ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਇਟ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ It was yeah. very interesting. Very nice. Very interesting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Amarji Ji, you always contribute. So definitely, as Amarji Ji just said, it becomes haunted house. Kabir Ji also says like this. Je kar sadhana sevi hai, har ki seva na hai, te kar marhat ja, te kar marhat. Marhat means samshan kaat. Poot bas hai, ten ma hai. so the one who is living there they becomes like ghost so definitely we need to take care about this thank you very much for your contribution amarjit ji te kar marhat sarke poot base tin ma hai yes yes anyone else any other sangat member who wants to share something okay so I request you all you all can unmute yourself and one more announcement i would like to tell you all next you stay lecture is going to be the last lecture for this month and then there is no lecture in the month of june but in july again we will continue we may change some timings and we'll give you the information about timings lectures and topics as well so but next tuesday is going to be the last for this month then we'll again start in july so request you all must join here and so all we can discuss about few things and you can make your suggestions feedbacks as well all feedbacks are much appreciated so you all can unmute yourself we all can say fate together wahi guru ji ka khalsa so wahi guru ji ki fate ji thank you very good very good thank you very good thank you very much thank you very much